Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel and to another festive daily vlog. So how are we all doing? How's your December shaping up? It's December 6th when I'm filming this, which is just so mad. I feel like this month has just gone unbelievably quick. Um, this is why we start Christmas early, because it feels like December is just, there's so much going on. Whether it's like events, parties, um, not that we've got any parties booked this we've just recently come back from Vienna which was incredible so it's just it's just a lot and then you blink and it's Christmas which is just mad so yeah I hope your December is somewhat calm but also enjoyable and exciting it's a really lovely week this week but I thought I'd vlog today just because I would have a little catch up with you guys and um, we've landed back from Vienna on a uh, Sunday afternoon it was the most incredible trip if you missed the vlog i'll link it up top um i was reading through some of your comments and a lot of you were saying that we are so lucky that we live obviously in england in london uh vienna is about an hour and 50 on the flight on on a plane sorry so it's just so good it was incredible like honestly 48 hours of just pure festive joy so we're back and um, we're straight back into the swing of things. Work is incredibly busy. I'm very fortunate to be working with some lovely brands this Christmas, so just trying to work through all of that, cook some delicious food. It's just, yeah, it's a lot, but it's fine. It's lovely, and I'm very, very happy. So yeah, today's vlog is gonna be a little look into town. I thought we could have a look around Liberty. I need to finalize some Christmas shopping because this weekend I've got quite a few plans, actually. Um, so I'm not really going to have time and I'm seeing my aunt and uncle next week um, because I'm filming a little job with Waitrose at their home. Um, so I'm obviously going to be having my Christmas, like pre-Christmas there, so I need to give them the presents. I need to do some present wrapping. Yeah, a lot to do. I also won a, a Fever Tree Masterclass with uh, Waitrose and John Lewis when we went to their winter festival, um, which is so exciting. So that's in John Lewis today on Oxford Street at four o'clock, so I thought we could go along to that together. And then this evening, Zara and I have booked tickets to the cinema to see Matilda, the musical. Matilda is like one of my all time favorite films as a child. And it's got Emma Thompson in, which is just, she's one of my favorite actresses. So yeah, we're going to the Everyman in Chelsea, which is, we just thought, why not? It's Christmas, let's just enjoy it. And um, anyway, I thought I'd show you the decorations we've got in Vienna because I was editing the vlog back and realized that I never actually showed you guys. So this was the first one that we got. We've got this in the Alta Weihnachtmark, which is a beautiful, it's like a um, porcelain tartan star. I just absolutely love that with a nice natural rope loop. So that's for the main big tree behind me here. And then <laughs> this one I absolutely love. Um, so this is for our hallway tree, just that one there. And this is a little gonk. I think this one was called Hans. Um, yeah, so it's a little bearded gonk with his hat and he's on some little skis with his little ski what are they called i've never been skiing so i don't really know what they're called ski sticks <laughs> they've definitely got a um a special word but i don't know but um, anyway yeah it was the most wonderful trip thoroughly would recommend if you're planning that i mean there's still time this year or uh next year or whenever um but yeah i've been doing a lot of christmas planning um, this week because I'm actually hosting Christmas this year in this flat. My mum and stepdad are coming down with our dog Ivy. Um, so fingers crossed there are actually some real strikes that have just been announced today. So I'm really hoping that they can get down on the train. If not, um, they could maybe drive, but I wouldn't really want them to drive that far. So maybe it would just be a Christmas for me. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, praying, praying, obviously I know why strikes happen but it's just not the best especially not at Christmas it just has a knock-on effect on everyone anyway I've been doing some planning using this book this is Jamie Oliver's Christmas cookbook I got this in the charity shop actually for a bargain price of two pounds fifty and this I actually remember when the series was on at channel four it's probably one of the best Christmas books this and Nigel Slater's Christmas and Nigella Lawson's Christmas okay yeah I <laughs> have a few Christmas cookbooks Honestly, there's everything in here. It's not just traditional Christmas. He gets his family involved. Some of the recipes just look absolutely stunning. That's actually vegan. How delicious does that look? Obviously, you've got your classics in here, like your roasted vegetables, um, fish. I don't know if you eat turkey. Look at that turkey wellington. Oh, there's even a section on edible Christmas gifts. As you can see, there's some biscotti. 
So I was thinking if you guys would find this useful, I'd get this filmed as soon as possible. We could do like an edible Christmas gift video, um, if that would be useful. I know I filmed one with you and quite a while ago, um, but I feel like it would be nice to do like an updated version. So yeah, let me know if you'd like that. Maggie's currently fast asleep on the sofa. I'll insert some footage of her snoozing. Um, she is so tired, bless her. She was with Zara's aunt and uncle over the weekend when we were in Vienna. And um, they have a Vizsla who's not even one years old, so she is full of energy. So she kept Maggie very excited and very entertained this weekend. So she has been knocking out the Zeds since we've got her back. So I just had some breakfast this morning, just a nice bowl of warm porridge, and I was reading my book. I'm very needy finish this actually. So I picked this up recently, it's called It Ends at Midnight by Harriet Tice and it is so good. I started it on the plane and I've nearly finished it. It's about 350 pages, it's not too bad. Yeah, I started it on the plane and then I continued it on the plane and I've just stopped, picked it up since I've been back and it's really, really good. It's such a good page turner. So if you are thinking about getting a book for someone this Christmas, I definitely recommend that one, I'll leave it linked down below. Our bookshelf is at maximum capacity now. All of these, either I've read and Zara needs to read or the other way around. And we've got some cookbooks and whatnot down there. So ideally we'd have another one, but with this light on the wall, it's kind of gets in the way. So it's not an hour thing, it's when we move eventually, we'll, we'll get a bigger bookcase, I'm sure. These are just the Billy ones from Ikea and they're really good. So maybe like a larger one could work. The morning light this morning, Look at that light coming through the winter sun. Oh, feeling that warmth on my face is so nice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit on my laptop and um, get cracking on with some work, bits and bobs, because as lovely as it is doing all of these fun things, the work has got to be sandwiched around it somehow as well. So yeah, sitting on my laptop. And then all of this needs to be wrapped. I'm not gonna show too much of it because family members might be watching, but yeah, that is the wrapping station at the end of the table. Okay, that is work done. Maggie's had a very busy day, sat sleeping in the sun. I'm just about to make myself some lunch um, before I head into town. Just because food is always so expensive in London and I don't want to spend money because uh, we did a food shop yesterday so I'm going to make myself some instant ramen noodles. I've been working for... I cram when I work. It's the same when I was studying at university and college and school. I can't do long periods. I have to do a short, intense hour 10 minute little coffee, short intense hour, I can't just sit, my brain just gets distracted, so I cram everything in, so I've just been on my laptop for like two and a half, three hours, so just signing everything off, sending everything, doing my bit, so then I can have the rest of the afternoon filming with you guys, which is always great, so yeah. Where are my noodles? Mm. These instant ramen noodles are so good, they're slightly spicy. They're the Shin Ramyun noodles, so good. You can obviously judge them up, but I'm just having them as they are with a little splash of Soy sauce, they are delish. Okay, so I'm gonna head into town. I've wrapped up because it's really chilly in London. Not as cold as Vienna, but cold. <laughs> so I've got some trousers on with my little trainers, a t-shirt, a jumper, and my big thick coat. And this little bum bag I got from uh, Uniqlo. Gosh, I kind of forgot there. This fits so much in it. It's quite hard to show you, but I've got a book, I've got my phone, my glasses, wallet, everything, all in this little bum bag. So I'm just gonna hop on the tube and go and have a look around Liberty. Okay, I've made it to a very festive looking Liberty. They have their Christmas trees all along the top. And believe it or not, they are actually real Christmas trees and there are eight in total, four on one side and four on the other. So we're gonna have a lucky and I fear it might be quite busy, but the Christmas floor is all the way on the top. So hopefully it won't be too manic up there. But let's, um, yeah, let's head on in. All of the gorgeous flowers outside Liberty and these wreaths, absolutely stunning. It smells so Christmassy. So I'm just climbing up the very old staircase to floor four, which is all the way up the top. to a very festive and Christmassy Liberty. Look how amazing this is. No. And anyways, I feel like every year it gets bigger and more magical. It is incredible. It's definitely become the theme where Christmas decor is just as extra as it can be. They've got the little Apple AirPods, shopping bags, binoculars. I really like this one. This is very cool. 
like an old fashioned car. I always feel like the stockings look very, very nice. They make them in the Liberty fabric. So you've got them in like a nice traditional print. I love, love this design. They've got 20% off as well. Even a felt wreath, which is very cool. matching pajamas how cool are they they're amazing all of the food they've got the cart right but the food as well such a nice brand mini mince pies i feel like these felt wreaths are so cool i love the color of them they are a little bit expensive 70 pounds but i guess you get your use out of that you could definitely diy that for sure all of the artificial foliage as well so nice it's a real feast for the eyes in here. <laughs> These reeds are gorgeous as well. Look at the size of them, and they're so cool. Beautiful. And if you thought that wasn't strange, they've got giant sequin parrots. <laughs> they're actually really cool. They remind me of the top of the umbrella of Mary Poppins. Very, very nice. Uh, Gisella Graham as well. Really famous for her Christmas decorations. Are you at the party? Look at the size of that board wall. It's huge. It's 50 pounds. It's massive. This is a really famous London design company and print company called House of Hackney. And they do some absolutely incredibly wild and bold prints. I love, love the colours of this one. They're very expensive. One cushion is 165 pounds, but I mean, incredible. The lamps are so cool as well. These classic London decorations as well, the little London taxis, they're so cool. We've got the Queen's Crown Jewels too. They have a very impressive selection of Christmas crackers, including Bristol Sprout ones. <laughs> I love the print of these, how cool are they? The velvet ribbons, very nice. These gingerbread ones are quite cool as well, very traditional. Love those. How much are they? Look, that's 30 pounds, but they're Bacon themed stuff. If you wanted to simply go a little souvenir, they've got some Liberty London Emma Bridgewater mugs. They're really nice. Emma Bridgewater is such a cool designer. They've got loads of other Liberty branded things. You can pick up something that's not Christmasy as a little memoir if you are visiting. Just having a look at some of the homeware and getting some inspiration for things I could get. My aunt and uncle, these plates are so cool. I'm not quite sure because they do have a lot of crockery, but I'm very tempted. How beautiful is that? Look at that golden hour sun just coming down as the angels turn on Regent Street. How magic is that? Just having a look through Liberty's Christmas window. They always do the windows so well. There's some more of those Emma Bridgewater mugs. If you can just spot them just there. Amazing. It's a good use of bird cages as well. Storage for bags. <laughs> Angels of Regent Street just twinkling up in the sky. I have about half an hour before my um, class in John Lewis, so I'm just gonna have a wander around their Christmas hall and see if they've got any new bits in. And a quick look in the John Lewis Christmas hall before I head into the masterclass, and they've got 20 tent off all of the Christmas decor, so now is definitely the best time to get it for the festive season. And there is a lot. These glass Christmas trees are really cool. Love those. All of the baubles have got 20% off as well. How amazing. So I'm an idiot, which <laughs> I already knew. <laughs> um, I got the date wrong for the masterclass. It's tomorrow, not today. <laughs> so that's fine. I walked in and said, that's tomorrow, sir. I thought, oh God, what am I like? So that's okay. I used it to nip into John Lewis anyway and get, uh, well, finish my Christmas shopping for my aunt and uncle, because actually I'm seeing them on uh, Monday. So it wasn't a wasted trip at all, just, a bit of an unnecessary one, but it's lovely and the lights are shining, so let me show you them. The twinkly stars above Oxford Street, heading down to Regent Street, it is very magical and not too busy, which is always good. I'm just gonna hop on the tube now and head back to see Zara and Maggie before we head to the cinema. So I'm back from in town and I thought I'd quickly show you what I got my um, aunt and uncle for the Christmas present. I'll let them know not to watch this vlog. <laughs> I don't think they watch every vlog anyway, but um, yeah, there's some two lovely presents that I think 
Um, I've got them some other stuff, so I'll show you everything. So this is everything that I've gotten them. I got these at the Witch Horse Winter Festival. They're two Fever Tree Christmas crackers. Um, one's Clementine, so that's going to be for my aunt, and then this is just a classic for my uncle. So I'm going to give them them as like a Christmas Eve present. This is an Italian deli cookbook. I think it'd be, this would be such a good um, gift for them. It's by an author called Theo Randall. And um, we're going to Bologna in May, so I thought this would be a really nice um, like Italian-themed cookbook for them. Um, this I got in John Lewis. This is a ceramic camembert dish, which I just think is so cool. And they love anything like this, and anything French. Um, so you can actually bake a whole camembert in this, so that is going to be really lovely. And then the last thing is this olive wood servant dish. So they, again, love anything that's a bit quirky and unique. And I can see this on their dining table with like some nuts and olives and little picky bits in. So I thought they'd really enjoy that. So that's their Christmas presents all sorted and done. I um, just so need to wrap all this up. Obviously not going to do the Christmas wrapping now because we are about to head out the door. Uh, we're going to the Everyman in Chelsea, uh, which is, uh, they serve food there. So we're going to get some, um, some little piggy bits and um, yeah, watch Matilda. So I'll catch you guys over there. We're just walking down Chelsea, Kings Road, and look how incredible this flower window is. I bought flowers from there before. It's a very expensive florist, but it's probably why, because they save all their money for their window displays. Gorgeous. Anyway, onwards. We're about five minutes away. It's just down here. We just saw a black cab, and it had a wreath on the front of it that was sparkling. It had tinsel all over the dashboard, stickers and vinyls on the windows. It was the most festive black cab I've ever seen in London in my whole time here. It was very lovely. Zara's here, by the way. I'm not just talking um, to myself. We are. No, I do talk to myself. Well, I talk to you guys. Oh, spilt coffee. Oh, we're going to walk past La Mia Mamba where I had my breakfast. I have back to him. Oh, sorry. It's yeah. a lovely. Turf. We've made it. Here we are. We have arrived. Let's go on in. Oh, look, they've got a little Christmas tree. It's a very lovely Christmas tree for a cinema. Right, let's head on in. Up the red carpet, 007 stage. That's cool. So we just have a look at the menu. I'm going to choose some little snacks. But how nice is this? It's very lovely cinema. She just asked me what we were watching and I said, Mary Poppins. It's not the right film. <laughs> Matilda. We did see Mary Poppins. We did, yeah. I think I was getting confused with the theatre because this is a theatre adaptation of Matilda. Also sorry about the Peaky Blinders music, that's weird. We just had a little look through what's coming out and there's quite a few films, but this one with Bill Niley looks really good. He's such a good actor. That's Livin'. It's out in November. Oh, it's already out, November 4th. Let me know if you've seen that in the comments. But yeah, there's loads. And there's an every man opening in Durham. Anyway, we're gonna dig in. We've ordered some tortilla chips and some guac. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Right, we just finished up watching, not Mary Poppins, <laughs> Matilda. That was honestly incredible. If you ever have seen the West End show, then you will know how magical it is. And it was like for like, arguably better. Um, Emma Thompson plays the, the the awful character of Miss Twinchable, but she played her well, didn't she? She yeah, played her very she, well. I feel like she's like one of the most adaptable actresses. Absolutely. Like she's been she everything from- She can be like the sweet kind, and then she can be an evil an cow. An evil cow, yeah. That's it, she's been in everything, honestly. Like. Love that. Thoroughly recommend it. I don't know if it's out in the US, but um, yeah, just loved it. We're just having a nice little walk back through Chelsea. I'm going to walk over the bridge and head back to Mag. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Sorry it's been a short one. I didn't intend on having some gin in this, but uh, that's tomorrow, <laughs> which I'm also vlogging. So you'll see that very soon too. So uh, yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below. Lots of love. Take care. And I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.